Some companies believe that a firm can only grow so big before it must be divided up into smaller, more nimble business units. But can a $32 billion firm with more than 60,000 employees really keep its competitive advantage while reorganizing into 2,000 autonomous teams? Researchers studying a large Chinese firm posit that micro-divisionalization, or splitting a business into many micro-units, has both advantages and disadvantages. On the positive side, they found that the firm was able to measure each unit's performance more efficiently, enabling it to reward top-performing units, while merging or getting rid of the ones that underperformed. This helped improve the overall performance of the firm. But they also found that individual compensation, as well as cross-team collaboration, were less efficient. Individual employees were rewarded through a complex bonus system, and many business units struggled to work together as disagreements and competition naturally sprung up between them. Although researchers found that decentralization enabled the firm to better serve its fragmented customer base, some business units took advantage of that decentralization to form business ventures independent of the larger company. Can a business thrive with 2,000 CEOs? If the possibility intrigues you, then read on, because this paper will give you more than a micro dose of reality.